get some sleep. Five, uh, 440 is now the time. Uh, let's take you out right now, show you what's going on. We've got a beautiful eye cam shot of stores, Gamble Pavilion right there. Everybody is uh, nice and asleep this morning. Thank goodness. Everything is calm. Uh, we don't have any weather woes out there for you this morning. Dry roads, you are good to go. Visibility at a perfect 10. More eye cams for you. Hartford, good morning to you. The Travelers Tower lit up in blue there for Yukon. Woo 44, the winds are calm. 44 amazing degrees this morning compared to yesterday when it was 18 in parts of the state. Torrington, good morning to you. Things look good there. Visibility, there's just a little bit of fog forming. Uh, New Haven and Meriden, it's not a big deal, but I'm watching it for you. If it does get any worse, of course, I will pass that along to you. Temperatures unbelievably mild compared to where we were 24 hours ago. We're in the upper 30s, 39 in Putnam, 39 in Willimantic, 39 in Torrington, 38 in Danbury, 44 at Brainerd, 40 in Meriden. And uh, let me tell you, the temperature differential from yesterday, look at this, how up we are. 13, 14, 15, 16 degrees warmer than just 24 hours ago, and the winds are calm. Kids are going to be outside for recess today. It's going to be a nice day. Temperatures for the ride home, how about this? 60 to 67 degrees. That is substantially above average. The normal high for this time of year is 55. If we got to that number and stayed there, it would be a good day. But look at this. We're going to add a bonus. 59 shoreline, 67 degrees inland. That's pretty good. A little bit of scattered shower activity you might be experiencing up here against the mass border. That's because you guys are closest to the frontal boundary that's kind of stalled just to the, south, uh, just to the north of Connecticut, right over the border of uh, Massachusetts. So you can see this rain train coming in off the Great Lakes, but this was not going to have too much of an impact on us until later tonight when the clouds start to increase. That front is going to sag southward and we're going to be in the cloud coverage. But today, absolutely gorgeous. Get out there and enjoy it. By 5 p.m., we're dealing with some cloud coverage and then there is that opportunity for a passing shower tonight. This is 8 o'clock this evening. That kind of winds down midnight. It's just going to be a cloudy, cool, raw, damp day tomorrow. So prepare for that because it's not going to be as nice as today with these scattered showers popping up at any given time. And then we're going to get a better day on Thursday, but that does come with the risk for showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon as a cold front sweeps through and knocks all of this unsettled weather out. So get ready for Thursday afternoon as we could be dealing with some showers and some thunderstorms. Daytime highs today climb into the upper 60s. Sun and clouds milder. And then your seven-day forecast includes 52, 70, look at that, showers and thunderstorms possible th Thursday afternoon and evening. And then once that cold front moves through, it is going to get cooler around here. Friday and Saturday, we're talking about temperatures in the mid-50s. Easter Sunday, beautiful, mostly sunny, 62 degrees, and that carries right on into Monday with a high of 63 degrees. So it looks like some real nice weather.